All right, guys, welcome back to a new episode of Riot Craft Feed the Beast. Today we are going to be looking at creating an industrial centrifuge. And the reason for this is there's a lot of stuff going on. This is a big machine. However, we need it. And the reason we need it is we need to make silicone. Silicone cells. And the best way to do that is with redstone in an industrial centrifuge. And the reason we need those is so that we can make silicon plates. So we're going to work on getting an industrial centrifuge working today. So let's, let's get down to it. Let's see what we need. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, scent. Here we go, easier to see. Centrifuge. All right. First, we need refined iron plates. We need four of those. Let's go do this. Oh, first off, um, we got a new machine here, which um, I did off camera. I actually two mach new machines. I put, uh, I made an induction smelter. Now this is going to help us make hardened glass. Um, I'll show you that stuff later, but that we're going to need um, later for making hardened glass, which. We need uh, obsidian for, which if you look here, I've got obsidian already. This took forever. I didn't want to bore you guys, so I um, pretty much just placed uh, lava buckets down and put some water over the top and started chipping away because we've got diamond tools now. We found diamonds. So that's what we're doing here. And uh, we need to use obsidian dust and I believe lead. Let's look at the recipes. I think it's in here. Uh, hardened glass. So obsidian dust or lead to make hardened glass. So we're going to do that because um, we need hardened glass for... I found these new pipes. They are called red stone. Where are they here? Redstone energy conduits. But first thing you need to make is a, an energy conduit. So hardened glass we need to make, and then electrium, which I don't know even, I believe you make electrium with silver and mm, gold. Silver and gold makes electrium, I believe, um, if you take two of the, the dusts. So if you take silver dust and gold dust and combine them, um, just in your normal crafting, you can make electrium. That's how that is made. Um, and the reason we're going to make these is because then we don't have to worry about those blue lines. These fill up and then these explode. Those redstone energy conduits have no maximum, so they won't they won't explode. Um, pretty much means that you can put as much power through them as possible, and you won't you won't have an issue. So we're going to get that going at some point. But the first thing we need to do is make that induction smelter so we're gonna do that today but I figured I'd show you guys the new upgrades oh and I built another MFE so we're getting some more power too I just laid that down before um, before you guys came so we've got a lot of stuff going on so this is good all right let's we needed four iron, refined iron plates now we've already got one two three four Let's put those in the bender. There we go. We're going to get four plates. Oh, that works pretty quick. Quick. One, two. All right. Once you get four, we'll check out the next piece. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's just kind of glitching out a little bit, probably because I'm recording. So, all right. Let's put those in that configuration and we need oh centrifuge okay so we got those let's make some advanced circuits now we've already got some circuits we need to make some advanced circuits so I think we got a couple here oh we only got one made well that's further along than we were before so let's make a few circuits 
which you guys should remember how to do from the last, I think one of the first episodes I did. Uh, copper. Okay. Let's uh, make a bunch of these. Oh, we need refined iron. Now we're going to go through a bunch of those, so let's just make a, as many as we can. You will use a ton of circuits, so just make them. You're going to get used to it. All right. So we've got those, and I believe it was... So redstone, glowstone, and lapis. So we've got lapis, we've got redstone, and let's get some glowstone. All right. One, two, one, two. Guess I didn't need that many. Oh, right, two advanced circuits. There we go. I think that was where they belong. Yep. And we need an advanced machine block. All right, how do we... Okay, first we need two machine blocks. Because we're going to need two of those. So two machine blocks. All right, let's make that. Let's see if we can get this induction smelter done today. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I'm not quite sure. Okay, we've got that. We need carbon, we need four carbon plates. How do we make those? Coal dust. I bet we got a pulverized dust. Which means I would need four of those per each one of those. I need eight, sixteen, thirty-two, thirty-two coal dust, I believe. Did I do the math on that right? I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> All right, let's pulverize this stuff and then start making something else if we can. Let us do that. Let's see. Do we get coal dust here? Am I smart or am I dumb? Let's see. I'm smart. Woohoo. Cool. So we'll let that run for a little bit. Let's see what else we got to make here. An extractor. I think we have one of those. Did I make an extra one? Look at that. On the ball. So now we just need to make... What else do we got to make? Advanced alloy plate. We need four of them. Compressor. So we need four... Iron plates, four bronze plates, four tin plates. Find iron, bronze, uh, tin. All right, let's put that um, four, one, two, three, four, and there's the tin. see here. All right. So that's good. Looks like it's taking a little bit. My recording's probably catching up here. Being a little bit laggy. Apologize for that. Let's see. Come on. Let's see how our coal's doing. It's still jamming along. Oh, we almost got that done, if I did the math right. Let's see. And I th 
think what happens after that. Oh, I think we have to compress that. So, where's our compressor? Let's put that in there. Ha! We do. Cool. Let's let that run. And we need one more iron plate. I think we're going to compress that stuff as well. Oh, I think i got to stack it up first. How did I do that? Let's see. I think I screwed that up. Uh, okay. The only combination I didn't try. Oh, look at that. There we go. And let's compress that. Mixed metal ingot. Oh, look at that. We got our carbon plates. So we got two more coming. Which should be good. And we should be able to make our advanced machine blocks. And then we can... I think that will wrap it up for the industrial electrolyzer, or I'm sorry, industrial centrifuge. And then when we get that going, we can then make our wonderful hmm, solar, solar cells. Let's see that going. So it's going to jam. Now, I, I'm looking at these slots here, and I did some research, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but on some of these machines, they have these four slots on the sides, like these ones here. Um, and what you can do, you can put um, upgrades in there. I can't remember what they're called. I have to look it up again, because I just looked this up a little while ago, but it's escaping me for some reason. You can put upgrades in here. Oh, what is it? Upgrade or overclock? Ah! You can put up to, I think, 16 of these in there? And this is how you make them. I don't know how to make these coolant cells. Oh! Oh, that's relatively easy. So, four tin and a water bucket. Oh. I'm going to have to make a couple of these and see what see what happens. Um, let's see if this really goes faster. We'll have to check that out. Let's, eh, that's running. Let's do that anyways. So, we need a bottle of water, so I need to make a bottle. Okay. I need three. That's perfect. Let's go fill them up with water. Okay, we got water bottles. And... We need to put surround those by tin, so I need twelve tin. Oh, but I didn't take them all. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Make that's twelve. Oh, if you shift click on a barrel. Oh, I didn't even explain what these are. If some of you might not know what these are, these are barrels. These will hold sixty-four stacks of whatever item you use. So this will hold a lot of items. And then there's also an upgrade on here called an extra dimensional uh, upgrade, which you can then put on each one of the barrels to make it allow so you can put a 1,024 stacks of items in there, which is just, that's a crazy amount of, of uh, items. It's just, it's just nuts. So let's put these in here. Oh, we got a coolant cell. That's one, two, and three. So we got our coolant cell, and we need an electronic circuit and our coolant cells. So look at that. We got an extra one. Oh, it must have been made to be because I had two extra copper cables there. Oh, we got an upgrade. Let's see what this does. I don't have anything to compress. Well, let's try it. Let's see. Okay, let's put this in there and see if it goes faster. Oh, look at that! It does, it does go faster. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm going to have to make a bunch more of those. That's super cool. So there you go. You can uh, put overclocker upgrades in there, and uh, you can get your units to run faster. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sweet. All right. I think I, we got our four metal plates. Let's get this over here and make our advanced machine block. Oh, there we go. We got two of them, and I think now we can make our industrial centrifuge. There it is, guys. We made our industrial centrifuge. Round around and round it goes. All right, that says in 32. That means we run. It runs at 32 EU. Can put this here. Does it? Oh, look at that. Oh, let's put some. Put some stacks there. Let's see what's happening. Is it gonna run? What's happening? Is this running? I don't see a green light. Hmm. Do I have to put some cells in there? I don't understand. It did have a green light, didn't it? Did you guys see that? Whoa, it's got a hundred recipes. Let's find it until... Oh, you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing. Look at this, guys. Look at all these cool things you can make. Let's find redstone and see what it does again. Oh, there it is. Ten. How many do I have in there? I got 14 in there. Should be fine. Maybe it's got to be exactly ten. Nope. Hmm. Let's see if we can put some empty cells in there. Maybe that's the issue. Let's see. Maybe this is going to run. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what it is. You need cells. Let's make a bunch more of those. Looks like it's running. Okay, let's check this out. We're just going to make a bunch of these cells because... Got a feeling I'm going to be going through these a lot. Just, oh, stack that there. Okay, empty cells. Oh, here it goes. It, we're going. So it's going to make... Looks like it's going. Looks like it's going to take a long time. This is one of those ones that takes forever. All right. All right, let's go check out our silicone. Let's get some silicone cells going. Let's find redstone again. Okay, so for every 10 redstone, we're going to get one silicone, it looks like. It looks like we're going to get pyrite dust. I don't know what that's for. Ruby dust and some mercury cells. I'm going to imagine some of these other things are going to be good too. Okay, so we can get pyrite from pyrite ore, which you get in the nether. Okay. What about mercury cells? What do we get from those? So you can make mercury, liquid mercury. I wonder how you do that. Mercury cell in the electrical electrolyzer. I wonder what it's used for. I think if you right click it, oh, there we go. A tank cart. Oh, I wonder if this is for a mercury cell for a tank cart, which makes a mixer. Oh, you put it in a mixer. I don't even know what a mixer is. I wonder if this is for some railcraft stuff. Single-use batteries. So you can make batteries. Uh, you can extract mercury out of it. I don't know why you would do that. It looks like you would just waste the mercury. Oh, we can make quicksilver. Not sure what that stuff's used for. Looks like you can make nether dust, gold, empty cells. So it looks like there's a couple things that mercury does. So that's cool. Alright, this should be finishing up pretty soon. And we're going to make our first... I'm sorry, I needed to take a drink. Uh, our first solar cell. Because then... We are one step closer to getting to solar panels. Clean energy. That's our. That's where we want to get to. We want to get to one of these. 
because that is efficient and we don't got to worry about anything blowing up. Um, we're going to make a bunch of those. So we're well on our way to making our first solar cell, solar panel, and solar uh, silicon plate. Um, in a future episode, we're going to talk about making the industrial blast furnace because that's a that's a multi blast that's a multi block system that um, will take a while to set up. So we're going to get that going, maybe in the next episode or two. I'm not sure if we'll do that one next, or I'm not sure where we'll get right now. I'm going to probably just start banging away at making as many of these solar cells as I as I can, so we can get further and further. So these silicon cells, that's what we want to make. And uh, then we'll start working towards uh, the blast furnace. Alright guys, uh, if you like this video and you found it um, entertaining and uh, hopefully it was educational, um, please slap that like button. Let me know how we're going. Uh, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys at the next episode. Have a good one.